morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Mr. Slackett? Judge, we will waive reading of the uh, arraignment rights. Uh, we'd like to enter a plea of not guilty. We will waive the reading of the indictment, waive the 24-hour period, and uh, just enter the plea. Very good, gentlemen. <clears throat> I will enter a not guilty plea on behalf of your client at this time. Although certain charges in the indictment cannot be disputed, a not guilty plea at this stage requires the prosecutor to continue to evaluate their case and determine whether medical and forensic evidence can actually support an aggravated murder conviction for the death of a fetus and whether the death penalty is warranted. In all likelihood, the prosecutor's decision will be predicated upon the opinions of medical and forensic experts, and more importantly, whether the women in this case want this case to go to trial for those limited issues. We are very sensitive to the emotional strain and impact that a trial would have on the women, their families, and this community. Mr. Castro currently faces hundreds of years in prison with the current charges, and it is our hope that we can continue to work toward a resolution to avoid having an unnecessary trial about aggravated murder and the death penalty.